First of all, I would like to read a text uh, that has not been published as a book. It has been published in a journal. It's a poem for Pavlinka Kalivodová. It's a poem that has been dedicated to Pavlinka Kalivodová. This poem is for Pavlinka Kalivodová. If you don't know who Pavlinka Kalivodová is, this poem will mean nothing to you. If you do know who Pavlinka Kalivodová is, this poem will also mean nothing to you. If you doubt whether Pavlinka Kalivodová exists, try to track her down in a phone book, in a birth registry, or elsewhere. If you do track down Pavlinka Kalivodová, write her a letter to inquire whether she is the Pavlinka Kalivodová from this poem. Perhaps she will answer yes, perhaps she will say no. If the former, you won't be certain whether the Pavlinka Kalivodová, whom you have tracked down, is certain that she is actually her and not another Pavlinka Kalivodová. If the latter, you won't be certain whether Pavlinka Kalivodová is mistaken to claim that it is not her. This poem could be intended for her without her knowledge. You might also think a name as stupid as Pavlinka Kalevodova could not exist, and that therefore Pavlinka Kalevodova does not exist. You might also think no one could invent a name as stupid as Pavlinka Kalevodova, and therefore that Pavlinka Kalevodova exists. In neither case, however, will this poem tell you anything about Pavlinka Kalevodova or anything else, as it is intended for Pavlinka Kalevodova and her alone. You might also think that the fact that it is intended for Pavlinka Kalevodova only is a trick, and in reality this poem is intended for you, as opposed to Pavlinka Kalevodova. But this poem will tell you nothing about you either, or next to nothing. You might also think that Pavlinka Kalevodova exists, but not in this poem, that it is a trick, if not a pretext, enabling the author of the poem to write a poem that is not intended for Pavlinka Kalevodova, in spite of what he claims, though she exists, or for you, but for him and him alone. In the event that this poem is intended for the author of the poem, and him alone, for Patrick Ouzhenik and not Pavlinka Kalevodova or you, this poem will tell you nothing about Pavlinka Kalevodova, next to nothing about you, but will reveal a great deal about the author, Patrick Ouzhenik, assuming such a stupid name even exists. If this poem is in fact intended for the author, Patrick Ouzhenik, and not Pavlinka Kalevodova, the question arises whether Pavlinka Kalevodova, even if in fact she does not exist in this poem, and this poem is not intended for her, in spite of what the author claims, whether she exists in the author's real life, or whether she is merely a pretext or a trick. And if Pavlinka Kalevodova exists in the real life of the author, seeing as you have not bothered to track her down or managed to track her down in the phone book or in the birth register or elsewhere, why the author feels the need to write a poem, which in spite of what he claims, is not intended for her, but is a poem for him and him alone. Whether it is, for example, an attempt at formalism or a desire for recognition or an inner compulsion on the author's part, or for ideological other reasons. You may think all of these by reading this poem, which is not intended for you, assuming you are not Pavlinka Kalevodova, and assuming you exist. <laughs>